Hello and welcome back to some Dark House Wargaming. I know it's been a while, we've all had a lot on with the lockdown, a lot of different stuff to do. Here we've got a solo campaign. I've picked the Knight on. We've got a Knight of Shrouds as his leader. And we've used the Path to Glory charts to get a few troop choices. So we've got 10 Chain Rasps, 10 Chain Rasps, 5 x wraiths. None of them are proper, but I do prefer them to the kits I've got. I do have them. And we will be fighting a custom GUO Glocking model. Yeah, we need to get plenty of close-ups of this guy. Friend made him for me and he does do commission painting. So if you're interested, give us a shout. So we'll crack straight on. Who will go first? One to three, it's the bad guys. Four to six, technically good guys. Right, so there he will go first. And there's glorious GUO over here. Forge World One, Exalted, that's the rules we're giving him. See, he's not close enough to do his spell, so he's just going to try and Mystic Shield himself. He's definitely got it off. Be back after his movement. And at the end of the GUO's movement, he's not quite within 12 inch, so he won't be able to attempt to charge. Straight on to Night Haunt, turn one. Okay, let's roll up some charges. I think the x race might be the only ones that are in range. Oh, definitely in range. And so is the commander. Mm, and depending on the charge, so is a unit of chain rasps. Hex race will go first. Seven. That has literally just done it. Knight of Shrouds will also try and charge. No, I don't think he's made it with the blockage. No, he's definitely not made it. These guys now can't make it. Let's double check these. Oh, they can make it on a really long charge. Nope. Uh, command point reroll, why not? They have one CP. No. Combat phase, straight to the X race to go first. 13 attacks going in from the Hex Wraiths into the great, uh, Exalted Great Unclean one. I do love that conversion. Right, we need force to hits. Any sixes here will become a mortal. So one mortal goes straight through. And it will four to hit. But not great. Oh, and he will have popped his command ability. So he gives one extra attack each. I'll just roll them now. So another mortal. Oh. Three mortals total. But only four hits. One wound. The Geo has a four plus, but they do have a rend. So they to a five, and he saves it. Three mortal wounds. Five plus disgusting resilience, but if he gets a six, he'll do a mortal wound back. He didn't get any. Three wounds suffered straight away. We're back with the horses. Ten hooves and teeth attacks. Fours and fa fours to hit, five to wound. They did better hitting than scythes. I'm assuming that were it. Got two more wounds. Four plus armor. Five plus disgusting resilience. No, another wound taken. Now it's time for him to strike back. So here comes his great bile sword. Four attacks, threes and threes. Oh god. And he needs to do something here. Oh, wow. Now, it's normally two rend, but these guys are ethereal, so it don't matter. Four plus. No, that's three damage through. See, we're not using codexes, so they ain't got a, a deathless minion save. So it would literally just be three damage. It's underwhelming. Roll off for the start of turn two. One to three, it's minions. Four to six, what we call the zeros. Minions. Hey, he will instantly heal D3. He don't have to roll for that. He's healed three. We're going to attempt to cast his spell, uh, which are a 14 inch line, one millimeter thick, in any line, in straight across, and whoever it touches, it'll cause D3 mortal wounds. We've measured, it would uh, touch the Nightish Rouds, Chain Rasps, and Hex Wraiths. It needs a seven to go off. Exactly a seven. And they've got nobody to stop it. It's D3 on the Hex Wraiths. Three mortals. That'll remove another model. Two models, in fact. D3 on the Nightish Rouds. Two and D3 on the chain rasps. One. 
And for the yes. second spell, we'll, uh, yeah, we're going to try and arcane bolt the x rays. It's gone off, but I think it only does one mortal now, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, so movement, it can't move anyway because it's pretty much tied up. So we're going to try and shoot these two guys out. There's three wounds there now. What's this shooting attack, D6. please? It's just D6 shots. D6 attacks. D6 attacks. Five. It's still not to four, is it? Yep. So it is threes to hit, twos to wound. You heard him, people. Three wound in it. Two render, which doesn't matter. One nope. damage each. Nope. So one damage each, four plus. It could do it. Oh, so close. One x ray remains with one wound. They're going to hold him up for a turn. So, Nurgle combat first, and he'll use his command ability on himself. So he'll get one extra attack. Threes. He's not doing good. Threes. A four plus, and they've held him up. Nope, he's definitely destroyed. Heroes turn two. Yep, I think they're just going to move up and get ready to dogpile him and hope for the best. Back for some charges. We've got chain rasps first. Oh no. Second lot of chain rasps, we need one of these units in, our general's not going in. And they've also failed. He's got a tr oh, he's just going to get butchered. But if we get first turn, next turn, there's not really much we can do. Whatever, it's a silly solo campaign, let's get in. He's done it. So he's popped his command ability, so he's added one to his attacks, he's now got five attacks. Threes to hit. Oh, threes to wound. And is it two rend? So save goes up to uh, five. One save, five plus. Oh, it did a mortal wound back. That's his uh, yeah, disgusting resilience. Yep, yeah. So one did go through, but he got a mortal in return. Yeah. And the steed hooves. Oh, no. Uh, one in. One wound, watch you get one four plus. Yeah, it's saved. Very underwhelming. Very, very. Yep, and it still goes to his commander built this phase. Three hits. Two wounds. The ren doesn't matter. So it just falls. He saves one, which is good. So that's three damage taken. Uh, he's got two wounds left. One wound left. He's got a wound left. That's not good. Hey, roll off for turn three. And the minions go again. Oh, he's just going to try and 14 inch that guy. Because we can't get a line through either of these. Yeah. No. An arcane bolt. If he gets it off, he will die. He's got one wound left. And he did get it off. Uh, goodbye, General. I think this is a foregone conclusion. He's going to use his movement just to get up in three. And now he's going to use his shooting attack on the furthest unit. D6, four. That's not bad. Can't argue. Let me check. I think it's threes and twos. Pretty sure it's yeah. in short range. Threes, all hit. It's seven inch range. Twos. It's, it's either four or a five. So one won't matter. And it is a five save, so none of them live. Three wounds, that'll do us. It's a start. And charges. It will go... It's going to try and land on them both. Six. He'll make it. We'll arrange him and we'll be back. So successful charge complete. On a four plus we'll suffer. D3 mortals. Nope. Same again. Nope. Oh, what a shame. I were hoping we'd end him outright. Right, we're going to put all five attacks into this unit. Idea being, this unit's small, and even if they get first turn, no, it's their turn next, it's probably going to destroy them in the after it with his retaliation attacks. So, threes. Oh, good start. Threes again. I can't complain, statistical. Four plus, no, five plus armor. Only one. So that's, damn, six damage. And no disgusting resilience because we're not using battle tomes. I think we will for an, another game. But that's six damage. They could lose some to battle shot. 
and we'll line up all the chain rasps the best they can go. We'll pile in with this unit first. 14 attacks going in from the chain rasps, fours and fours. They could do with some re-rolls and buffs, can't they? Four wounding hits. So it will be a four plus armor save. Made three of them. One disgusting resilience. Which it failed. So second unit pile in. Nine attacks going in. Fours and fours. It's a shame sixes don't do anything. Look at that. Oh, terrible showing. No, disgusting resilience. No. So the chain rasps actually caused two wounds total. Now I believe it's onto the hero's turn. So now it's the hero. Hero's turn four. Sorry, my dog just got under the tape. Yeah, that's dog destruction you can hear right there. And he's a laparazzo. Work that one out. So there'll be six attacks going in first. 13 attacks total going into the GUO. I think we're just going to get a grinding beat down now. Four plus. Not like that, we're not. That was one under average, so about average. That was above average. Forced to live. Fails too. Disgustingly resilient. On neither. That does knock him down a bracket. Two wounds suffered. Well played. I think it is just to the end of the combat phase, so we'd only have three three attacks now. He's been lowered a bracket. Mm, he's going to put all three into the larger unit. Uh, he knows he's got the wounds to just finish this slowly. He's not winning. It's going to be slowly. Five plus. Failed. That's three more guys. Hacked down. Oh, and they lost six blast battle round. Totally out of sequence, but on uh, five or six, they'll lose guys. And they lost a single guy. Yeah, all is right with the world again. Three destroyed, three remain. Six attacks will go in. Seven attacks with the commander, fours and fours. Two hits. No wound. And I forgot who went first. Yeah, I'm playing this while I'm running in and out trying to sort stuff out for fans. Yep, lockdown people. So annoying. Who's going to go first? Minion. And I think this game has just been finished. Alright, he will attempt to... Oh, he'll heal himself D3. Two. So he's back up his bracket. That's painful for those guys. He will attempt the Exalted Great Unclean one. This awesome model here. So if it's messed with angle, I think that's just... Yes. Beautiful model. I get a good showcase so everything is painted for me. Great conversion. Anyway, he's going to try his spell. He'll just put it on these guys. Draw a line this way. Successful. So they will take D3 mortal wounds. One. Not great. He will arcane bolt the same... Yeah, the same unit. He got it off, so that's another one removed. Yeah, we're going to have one lone... <laughs> yeah, it's going to be great. It's shooting attacks, D6 of them, so four, not bad at all. So threes, then twos, I believe, and we'll put them all onto the four man unit. Huh. Good. Five plus save. Neither. Yep, short and sweet game. I've had a lot of fun here. So just for giggles, he'll pop his command ability on himself. He's going to put three. N2. So the three. No! And the two. Oh, what? What? And I say again, what? Hero scarecrows or what? Well, the both attacks at the same time. Hmm. Nothing! Hero's turn. They can't really do anything. They've got to fight. So, he will go first. All hits. 
two wounds. Four pluses. One disgusting resilience. And he fails it, so they have caused one more wound. Which takes him down a bracket. He's now back to three. One left, two right. Hit. Wound. A five plus will save him. No. Definitely destroyed. Two into the last chain rasp. One hit. One wound. No save. So the GUO mops up. I'm not sure how much that warband were worth. I'll figure it out and put it in notes. Thank you all for viewing, and I'm going to put this guy up against another small Path to Glory warband. I'll get Taylor in on it, see if he'll uh, run with Chaos or somebody he ain't used yet. I've got a few armies, they're just not brilliant. I'm trying to use painted models, I'll get there. Thanks for viewing. See you the next game.